I thought we could start out by talking about generations a little. Um, there's, uh, there's so much in the news all the time now about uh, the millennial generation and how lazy they are or how innovative they are. It seems to cover the whole entire scale. I was just curious about your observations on what sort of important changes we're seeing in uh, up and coming generations today. Yeah. I see those things too, um, and the one that says they're lazy drives me crazy. And the reason is that it's usually coming from mostly baby boomers, a few Generation X, but mostly baby boomers, who through the lenses they're looking uh, are seeing a particular kind of behavior. And that behavior to them looks like it's sort of intolerance for instruction or guidance, when really what it is is intolerance for anything that doesn't make sense. And so people want to be doing things that make sense to them. And if they can't be doing something that makes sense, then they may do things like take the day off. There's no reason not to. But I think that lens of interpreting millennial behavior is problematic. Because what I see when I work with, and part of this is through teaching, part of it's through consulting in the companies I'm in, sometimes in conferences where I'm speaking, I usually get surrounded by people who are under 30 when I'm done, not people who are over 50. That, one of the things that says to me uh, is how, how hungry that generation is for meaningful ways to really either contribute, create on their own work, or do something meaningful inside of an organization. So what I see that is there is a, a generation which grew up where transparency was just normal. You, I mean, if you listen to the older generation, it's all about protection, keeping things secret, uh, determining who has the right to do something. With millennials, there's, well, we're all people, there's no hierarchy in some sense, and, and they're intolerant of hierarchy, even starting with their parents, which also sometimes go crazy. So there is this openness to direct exchange, say to each other what it is we see, don't worry about where you say it, and of course we fuss at them because they put things on Facebook and where what they're really doing is being who they are everywhere and expecting to be accepted in the same way they're accepted. I love the um, tolerance that exists in this generation. And so when I watch much of what goes on when people are talking about uh, racial issues, you don't see that with the millennials because what they see are through what I call the soul of people or the heart of people. So I think that really what's got to change in the way we're having that conversation is understanding who they are, and not, not everybody is fitting all this, I mean it's not that generic, but understanding that at the base, at the core of what it means to be a millennial is to live a transparent life that's very direct, that's much less judgmental, and where the innovation part comes from. And this is really core, is when you are authentic, and, and maybe the thing we need to add for the millennials, but when you know your essence, you know who you are, you're not trying to copy or be somebody else, then innovation is natural. Because you, being you, see things that are missing and need to be added, and you bring it immediately into it. So I see that much more present in that, in that generation than we've had in my lifetime. And to me, that's incredibly exciting.